Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Brandon Lester Fishing. Hey, today we are back after the summertime crappie. It is hot, like 100 degrees today. Um, but I think we can get on them. I'm having fun kind of learning. Like I've said before, I've not crappie fished a whole lot this time of year, so um, I'm learning a lot about it. I'm gonna talk a little bit about that in this video, how I feel like and why I feel like summer crappie fishing is different than fall winter and spring crappie fishing so let's see if we can catch a few y'all stay tuned there he is that's crappie too big crappie i mean not no giant don't get me wrong but it's <clears throat> a dang good one Come here, boy. It's a good way to start a video. Probably a 12 and a half incher. Pretty black nose. I'm gonna let them go today. I kept me a good mess of them the other day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them go today. I've been out here for a couple hours just kind of playing around and Seeing what I could find, I've caught a few here and there. Pulled up to this spot and I was pretty sure I could catch a few here, so. Decided to get the camera out and let y'all ride along for a little while. <clears throat> we got a little, just a little pile of rubble. I think it's some rock and it's got a little bit of brush on it out here, about 12, 14 foot of water, something like that. It actually comes up to about eight foot up on top of the deal, but. Those crappie are just sitting up there. There's there's bait in the area. Just a real good little spot for them to get. I'll show y'all my setup here in a second, but I'm gonna try to catch a couple of them while I kind of got them going. There's a bluegill bite. Those bluegill bites, you'll get to where you can tell the difference. And if if you if you know you're around where the crappie are, just keep reeling right through those bluegill bites because that's not what you want. You want to feel that hard thump or you want to feel that that dead weight of that crappie a crappie bite and a bluegill bite is totally different i mean sometimes they fool me you can't you can't tell a difference a hundred percent of the time but most of the time you can tell a difference there we go another good crappie this one's a little smaller he'd be a good keeper though <clears throat> probably be right at a 10 incher but nice little fish well oh, there is a pile of them in there one thing i want to talk about today too is the difference between fishing for them in july and fishing for them in october november december when that water starts cooling down Right now at this spot right here, the water temperature is 88.5 degrees. Dang, I missed a fish right there. Guys, 88.5 degree water is hot. And the biggest, the biggest thing you gotta realize about fishing for these crappie in the summer like this, you'll hear me talk about in fishing, there's what I, what I call feed windows. There's certain little times throughout a day or night that these fish are really feeding good. And I feel like the only, well, not the only difference, but the biggest difference between crappie fishing, that's a good one right there. I saw him on active target. That's a big crappie. Biggest difference between fishing for these fish this time of year and, and in the fall and winter is that feed window is a lot bigger in the fall and winter. This time of year, You've only got a small window throughout the day to really catch these fish. And the reason for that is in the summertime, a lot of your feeding goes on at night. These fish actually do a lot of their eating at nighttime. That's another beautiful fish. And for a summer fish, he's actually pretty fat too. God, it's fun. Let's watch him swim off right there. Back down there. Now, with all that being said, of course, I mean, y'all have heard me say this before and I'll say it 
for the rest of my life there's always fish biting somewhere um always 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 there's fish biting somewhere but by and large you know if i come over here when that water gets down 50 degrees in december if i find a school this big i guarantee you 100 percent for a fact i'm gonna catch at least five or six crappie out of it but this time of year i found schools of crappie that have 100 200 crappie in it and you can't even get a daggum bite out of them so that to me in my opinion that's the biggest difference in cold water crappie fishing and warm water crappie fishing those feed windows are just a little bit smaller you've got your timing has to be absolutely perfect and that timing may be different every single day you know common fishing sense would tell you hey i need to be out there right at daylight but that's not necessarily the case those crappie may be feed they may start feeding right in the middle of the day and it may only last for 30 or 45 minutes when it's like every crappie in the lake's biting and then they shut down again but with all that being said if you're willing to put in the time put in the work be patient fish enough good productive areas you can still catch these fish in the dead heat of summer which is pretty darn cool if you ask me here's another one another good one too well these are some slabs right here I mean, you know it's a big crappie when he set the hook and he starts shaking that head and pulling drag. I look at him come jump like a bass. That fish right there would be well over two pounds if he was if he was fattened up in the winter time. He might be close now. I don't think he's quite a two pounder, but he's a doggone good one. Come here, boy. Mm hmm. I'll check that out. That's what we came for right there. Big old slabs, little bitty old bait. I'm gonna tell y'all about that bait. As soon as I let this one go, I'm gonna get me a thumbnail shot with him right quick. All right, let's let that pretty girl go. Look at that. Big old black nose. About every one I've caught so far has been a black nose. That's a big old fish. Get back down in there, girl. All right, y'all, let's talk about my setup real quick. Y'all have seen me use this setup before, but 2,500 size dial were real. Um, seven pound vicious panfish braid tied to about a six foot liter or four pound vicious 100% fluorocarbon. I've got the six foot six light action mustad detector rod. These are great little crappie rods. I'll link all this stuff in the description of the video. So if, you, if you're wondering about any of it, you'll be able to find it in the description. The actual bait is the trout magnet. Just a little natural colored trout magnet. That's the trout magnet jig head, 164th ounce. And about a foot to 14 inches up the line, I've got a number seven split shot right there. Um, and that's my basic setup. You know, it's it's not nothing real real fancy but it's dang sure effective i mean i catch a lot of crappie on that setup right there you know if you fish for black crappie or black nose crappie and you hadn't tried any of those little bitty baits like the like the trout magnet yet you are definitely missing the boat because they they really black crappie really like those little small baits there he is Another good one. Golly, these fish are pulling hard. It's because they're big. <laughs> the reason why they're pulling hard, they're dang big ones. Mm, there's some good crappie in there. Golly, look at this big old slab. Oh my gosh, that's fun. I mean, I love this stuff. I absolutely love it, man. When a crappie pulls drag, that's just, that just does it for me. When he's big enough to pull drag, I, I, that's the ones I want to catch. Look at this big son of a gun. Oh, come here. Come here. Golly, y'all look at that. I mean, that is a doggone big one now. I tell you what, let's weigh that fish just to see what it weighs. I'm just curious. It ain't going to go quite two pounds in the winter it would. 
Right now, I'm gonna say it's about a 170 probably. Quit, quit. Yep, 179. That's a big old crappie. I mean, I don't know where you live, but where I live for July, that's a good one. Get back in there, girl. That's the best part right there. We'll see her again. There's one. Hit it on the fall. That ain't one of them big slabs like we've been catching. I'm sitting there watching my line go down and I saw my line just go tick. When I picked up, he had it. He was swimming off with it. Always be watching that line. That's one reason why I use that high vis vicious panfish braid because I can see it. I mean, it's a good keeper, but it ain't, it ain't what we've been catching. Y'all don't want to show y'all something. I may or may not put this in the video. It depends on how it turns out, but I was sitting here fishing this spot and there's a house up here on the hill. <clears throat> all of a sudden all these cars start showing up down here in the field. People start getting out and I noticed they got their church clothes on. I immediately knew what was going on. Growing up, my grandfather was a preacher and there ain't no telling how many people I watched him baptize in the creek. All that group of people right there, they're getting ready to baptize some folks in this lake. Good to see that people still do that. Good to know that we live in a country where people can do that. Somebody made a very important decision today. Good for them. I'm glad I'm here to see it. Pretty neat. That's a crappie. Another nice one too. Mm -hmm. Come on in here, boy. That's pretty neat right there. I just got to watch a young lady get baptized over here on the bank. sitting out here catching crappie they're still good in the world you just got to know where to look for it and you just got to know how to recognize it whenever you see it <laughs> somebody up there in the crowd at the baptize and recognized me hollered out hey brandon i don't know who you were but thank y'all for making my day that was pretty cool There's one. That's a crappie too. Boy, I really had to talk that fish in the bite. He did not want to do it. It's a good fish though. Yeah, I could see him sitting in there. Them jokers just did not want to bite. Oh, that's a big one to be boat flipping. Nice, nice fish. Not been easy today, but man, I have caught some really good ones. Every one's been a big black nose, too. Mm. See you next time, buddy. All right, y'all. Let's wrap it up. That was a fun day, kind of a quick trip, but um, caught them really good. Caught some big ones, especially for this time of the year. I know I keep saying that, but man, it, it is. It's kind of tough this time of year. You can see a lot of crappie. I, I found... 10 or 12 different really good schools of crappie today and I can only get three or four of those schools to really play. So um, it was still a fun day. You kind of got to work at it. Like I was saying earlier, those feed windows are definitely a lot shorter this time of year. But if you're willing to work at it, you can still catch them. So play around with different baits. Try those little trout magnets because they are absolutely deadly, especially if you're around black crappie or black nose crappie. 
Hey, I appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you next time right here, Brandon Lester Fishing.